Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, my name is Kavindu. In this video, I am going to discuss with you type of blood collection tubes. Vacuum tanner tube was invented by Joseph Kleiner and Beckton Dixon in 1949. You may have seen different colors blood collection tubes. Different color top blood collection tubes may contain a specific type anticoagulant and additives designed to stabilize and preserve the specimen prior to analytical testing. Choosing the wrong tubes may make the blood sample unusable for the intended purpose. So, it is really important to use correct blood collection tube to correct test. Purple or lavender color top blood tubes. These tubes contain either K2 EDTA or K3 EDTA as anticoagulant. Calcium is an essential component of coagulation. So, EDTA prevents clotting by chelating calcium in blood sample. This anticoagulant can preserve morphology of blood cells. So, this lavender color top blood tubes used for full blood count, blood picture, HbA1c test, measure most proteins and DNA and RNA isolations. Light blue color top tubes. These tubes contain sodium citrate as an anticoagulant. Citrate acts by removing calcium from blood. But unlike EDTA, it is reversible. So calcium can be added back to uh, study coagulation under control conditions. So citrate and uh, plasma is usually used for measuring coagulation relevant factors such as PT, APDT, INR, other blood coagulation time test and ESR test. Green color top tubes. Light green tubes contain lithium heparin and dark green color tubes contain sodium heparin as anticoagulant. Heparin tubes can also come with separating gel. Heparin acts by inhibitor thrombin formation. Note, if your end game is PCR, you should know it's particularly known to interfere with PCR reaction. So heparin tube is useful for electrolyte testing and karyotyping. Grey color top tubes. This tube contains sodium fluoride, is an anti glycolytic agent, so it, it inhibits glycolytic enzyme inolase. Therefore, ensure that no further glucose breakdown occurs within the sample. And uh, potassium oxalate usually used as an anticoagulant agent. So, these tubes are used for glucose and lactate testing. However, some companies use orange color for those tubes. Pink color top tubes. These tubes contain EDTA as anticoagulant, but especially used for blood banking and transfusion laboratory purposes. These tubes used for blood grouping, cross matching, and direct foam test. Serum tube. So serum is in simple terms but remains in blood after it clot, a cell-free liquid that is also depleted of coagulation factors. It can be stable before measuring blood proteins, lipid, hormones and electrolytes. Red colored of tubes Red colored of tubes can be plain tubes or tubes with clot activator. These red color tubes used for serum preparations. Gold color top tubes. Gold color top tubes also called as serum separation gel tubes. These tubes contain two agents, silica particles and serum separation gels. So gel layer will come to between serum and cells and help to clear the separation serum from red blood cells. Use of many biochemistry tests. So, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit bell icon for updates with more videos like this. Thank you.